Hey Eagles! So today is going to be day two of your guitar making for Hispanic Heritage Month. So you all have your painted sheets that look like this. This is Avery Giuliana's and she did a great job. If you didn't get a chance to finish painting yours, go paint it real quick with temper cakes because those dry really quick and then go use a hair dryer and blow it dry real quick so that you can be doing this with us. So you have your pretty painted picture. I have a couple of these templates right here. They're not perfect and neither are you, right? So what you're gonna do is on the back of your sheet, you're gonna put your template just like this. Don't put it on the front because we don't want pencil marks on your beautiful artwork. So you're gonna put it on the back. You're then gonna take a pencil and you're gonna trace your template, move it off, and then you're gonna cut. So yes, you need your cutting bins for your table that matches your table. Cut it out. So then now on the front, you will have this lovely guitar shape of your artwork. Make sure once you cut out your new guitar that you write your name on the back because see, like Avery's name's up here in the corner and that's a great job. But once she cuts out her guitar, it's not gonna be on the center. So then you're gonna go ahead and add it to the center. So let's just say this is my painted guitar and I have it and I've got my name on the back. So now you're gonna look at my anatomy of a guitar sheet. There are copies in here. So now you get to figure out how you're gonna add on all these pieces. So this says that I need a sound hole, which is that circle that's in the middle. So you can use construction paper, or you can maybe use some of your leftover paper, or maybe the person sitting beside you had some leftover really cool painted paper, and you can borrow some of theirs, because we're not gonna throw anything away, right? And how many strings do we need on a guitar? Six. So we can go get some of that yarn over there, and we can glue down yarn to make your strings. This says that we have tuning machines. They're the little things that come on the side. So get creative. What can you use? Maybe I've got some pipe cleaners. Maybe I've got some cardboard, things that you can use to add to them. Big thing, whatever you get out, what are you going to do? Clean it up, right? So let's say this is Avery's guitar and it's beautiful and it's wonderful and it's great. She's going to two hand carry and she's going to put it on the drying rack. She's going to make sure her entire area is cleaned up. She's gonna ask people, hey, do you need my leftover paper? If they don't, and nobody needs a leftover paper, she can toss that paper, that's good. And we're gonna clean these tables really, really good, right? Um, when the timer is off and it's full stop cleanup, we're all gonna work together and we're gonna clean them up. These are gonna be so pretty and I can't wait to hang them up. Can't wait to see what you make.